In this video, I'm gonna break down how to actually stop a goal, even if you can't see the puck coming. There's three different things that you need to do in order to put yourself in the best possible position to stop that puck from going in. So in this first ever Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna break it down for you right now. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you have a goal that you let in consistently, write it down below and I will see if I have a video that will show you how to stop that goal from going in. All right guys, enjoy the breakdown. Back behind you, Chris. I went in the corner. Back behind you, Chris. I went in the corner after that guy. All right, so there are three things to consider when facing a shot like this. Number one, can you see the puck? Number two, can you do something to get a better view? And number three, is your defenseman there to help? At first glance, this goal might have seemed impossible to stop since my own defenseman redirected the shot right onto the opposing forward stick. However, there are things you can do to greater your odds at stopping goals like this from going in. There's a much greater chance that you'll be scored on if you cannot see the puck, even if it is only for a moment. That is because you are wasting time looking for the puck rather than getting into the right position. So you wanna make sure that you do whatever you can to always keep your eyes on the puck. In this specific situation, I should have leaned over to my left to look around the player in front of me while standing square to the shot. That doesn't mean moving my feet, but instead just leaning my upper body to get a better vantage point. This would have given me a bit more time to readjust after the puck was redirected because I would have seen it happen rather than wondering why the puck didn't hit me after it was shot. Even though it was only half a second, that could have made the difference between me getting over and stopping the puck versus what actually happened. Now, there are two other things that you could do to try to gain visibility. Number one, stand up and look over the player in front of you. This especially works well if they are shorter than you. Now, number two is to actually use your glove or blocker to push the player who's in front of you out of the way just enough so that you can see the puck. Now this doesn't mean that you should punch them, just use enough force to move them so that you can keep your eyes on the puck. Just keep in mind that you may lose your position and no longer be squared to the puck if you're too focused on trying to move the player than just trying to get visibility of the puck. If you can, always call for one of your defensemen to try and move the player. In conclusion, if you find you are getting scored on when screened, do whatever you can to regain sight of the puck as quickly as you can by either leaning or standing up, and if necessary, always ask your defenseman for help to clear the front of the net. 